in Kenya medals, honors and fame goes to people who are politicians either full time or part time or even those who finance politicians you can do a lot of things good things to your country but in Kenya you'll not you'll never be remembered unless you are somehow attached to politics one of the greatest Kenyans alive is Peter Munga the founder of Equity Bank he has done a lot more than the next 50 people combined uh Peter Munga started Bali those days, I remember in 1985, when I first opened my bank account, it was hectic, it was troublesome, it was... Today, if you want to open a bank account, you just enter a bank with a national ID. Unless your bank is a special one, checkbook account, uh, you want to open a foreign currency account, yes, in Kenya, you can enter a bank Nakafungua dollars or euros or sterling pound account. Some of those accounts are the ones where you pay some money. But if you are to open just a, a normal account with any bank, you will find that you have, like me, I have four accounts from four different banks. Kukizifuatisha tu, Caritas, Equity, Unaruka tu Unitas. Okay. <laughs> So you maybe in the Fungua United you just open an account and it is never closed. But those days, those days, you go to a bank. I went to Kapenguria, KCB. They told me, look for somebody with an account here. Now you start looking. And in a bank you don't stand there. So after a long time, I found somebody. You go there, the person has also to be vetted. Does he or she have an active bank account? Or is it a dormant bank account? If it is a bank, dormant, you are told to go back and get another person. So you can see the place where Peter Munga almost single-handedly took us from that time to now that I have four accounts for, from four different banks. Uh, what he started off like this, he was an accountant, either an accountant or an auditor in the government somewhere in the 80s. And he comes from Ruadia area. This is a place in Kange Mauko. This is a place where a village where you find all rich people in Nairobi come from. The head of this comes from somebody who just you, you you don't even go to you don't you don't even need to go to Masai Mara. Just go there, find a young boy there. Anakwanyesha Kamoda Natoka up, Siju Nani Anatoka up, Nani Anatoka up. At the end of the day you give him five hundred and come back. So he came from that place, and those days people used to be paid coffee through the cooperative. So you, you are a farmer. The, the payment comes, you line up, you are given a check, you go with it home. Then when you want to cash the check, you go to the nearest bank, uh, you want to cash through the very same coffee factory that you gave the coffee. You take there the check, you sign, the check is taken back uh, without boring you with the long details. In short, you, the, the shortest time you get that check is 14 days, two weeks. Two weeks you get your check, you get your cash. From the day you hand over the check. But Munga used to leave Nairobi every Friday. 
with a briefcase full of money. Then uh, he would, uh, people would line up at his place. Nowadays, if the check is written in your name, you only cash it through your name. But those days, if a check is written in your name, and you know somebody else whom you trust, who has a, a current account, not a saving account, a current account, you, you sign at the back of the check, he countersigns, he pays you the money, and then he goes and has the check in his name. So people in those areas of Moranga ask themselves, Sasa ukikatwa five shillings, five shillings, because he would, five shillings by then was a lot of money, but uh, it was still little money for coffee farmers. So you go to Munga, you sign at the back of the check that you are surrendering to him, then irrespective of the amount of check, there's somebody who got a check of 2,000, Another one got a check of 2,200, another one got 2,500, another one got 3,000. That time, district commissioner, the head of the whole county, used to earn 3,000 shillings. So, Sishanga at 3,000 pesakido. So, irrespective of the amount you are getting, irrespective of the amount you are getting, alikuwa na kukata 5 shillings. You know, akiliyake ilikuwa, if 200 people come, I get a thousand shillings in a weekend. So he goes back on Monday in Nairobi, then transfers the money into his account. And you know, for that money to mature, it will take two weeks to mature into his account. But somehow, you see, he's an accountant. Accountant and auditors, how and what one on a pesa kila siku. We were na mimi, tunazionea kwa view sasa. Or nowadays, tunazionea kwa jitenge. So, uh, he takes the money, he takes the check, and the following weekend, he comes back with his money, with another money. So, kila weekend, what will kwa to Friday? Munga is coming. And that is how he continued, he continued. Uh, it reached a time when... Andrew Kimani Ngumba started a Royal Urban Financial Company. But you see, those days, Sijui Kwanini, I don't know why Moi never noticed Munga because Munga, even today, if he wants a parliament, a political, but then maybe a special branch told him they have studied him and Uyo ni mutu biashara too. Nothing else. So he continued that way. Kimani Ngumba started the Royal Urban, Ika Malizwa. Then somewhere along the line, the government allowed financial institution which people were to start building constructions. Yeah, you go, you have land, you do what? Then this uh, financial company, uh, we had East African Building Society, we had whatever. So this one was started over as Equity Building Society where you give him your title deed, he constructs the house for you, and then you start paying slowly by slowly. Then when Kibaki came, he allowed those financial institutions to become banks. So uh, Equity Building Society became, is it Equity Building Society or Equity Building Holding Company or something? converted to be equity bank and as you remember when we started this video i'm told not to use the word tape when we started this step uh, i told you that he used to go to geshagi with the money in there so he <laughs> looked dna so when he started employing people he started telling them fuata watu simamisha mtu kwa barabara convince him or her to start a bank account and that is how equity started draining more people there and other banks copied as of today equity bank has the largest is the biggest bank in membership 
you know banks there are two types of big there is big in fine in in asset and there is big in people who have subscribed to it equity is the biggest that uh, people subscribed to it and then um, that is how he started equity bank thank you